Hey YouTube. So I was asked to do a video on my muskrat trap. Uh, I was asked specifically about my submarine trap, but I figured I'd show you the ones that I have. Uh, for all intents and purposes, this is your muskrat, so that I can demonstrate what's going on. So I've got three to show you, and probably the modification on the fourth. So, this here's a submarine trap. The way this works is you find a channel where you know the muskrats are running through, and it works kind of like a minnow trap. They go in, and then they can't get back out. So, this particular one has doors on the inside. So, muskrat will go in, and then Fuse on the side, or even if he sees the hole in the back and tries to get out, it's a one-way door. So this is a drowning set, and before anybody goes on about how cruel it is to drown something, drowning is actually a really good way to go. It happens really fast. If anybody's ever been in one of those chokeholds where uh, one guy's got his arm around your neck. It happens really, really fast. So it is not cruel at all. So basically all this is is one inch mesh. Uh, the shape of the cone, if you're a trapper, when you go to take your furs in, it'll give you a pattern. Actually, I can show you the pattern, I think. North American Fur Auction Submarine Trap Funnel Pattern. So you get it like that. Shows you where your joints are. Shows you where to put all your holes. Now I found that I had to add extra holes. But uh, it worked out alright. When you punch your hole, when you make your holes here, this side here it's pretty centered. But this side here on the pattern doesn't quite match up. So keep an eye on that. I learned that one the hard way. But that's your pattern. And normally you get those for free. There's another pattern that you can get too, but I can't remember what it is. So what I did is I cut out a template. And now if I want to make more traps, just get the piece of metal. Trace it out, cut it, and away we go. My second type of trap is this one here. This floats on top of the water, so everything here up floats. Down here is your catch. And this is all underwater. And then you can put your bait inside. You can see an old piece of apple in there. So same idea, it's a one-way door on both sides, muskrat goes in, tries to eat the bait, they're pretty skittish so it doesn't take too much to scare them, then he goes and dives down, and then when he goes down to the bottom, what they will normally do is try to swim right back up to the top, and this mesh here will stop them from coming back up in here. So it's another quick dispatch and you just come back later on and you collect them. So on the back or the front, whatever you want to call it, I have a tether so then you just anchor it down and you just let it float and do its thing. So there's different types of bait that you can use for there. Some people use uh, carrots, parsnips, apples, stuff like that. Or you can use a lure. And then my third one 
is this here. And actually, we'll use this as a table. And I'll adjust it. So, the way this thing works, it's the same idea as you've got a tether to anchor it, it floats. The mesh that's on here is to stop the muskrats from eating the foam. There's two pins here that you can put your bait on, and you put your trap on there. So what happens is the muskrat will come up, get on the trap. When the trap springs, the muskrat will jump, end up in the water, and drowns pretty quick. So I've got three pins here so that this just barely sits in there. I'm going to have to adjust the pins because now that I've waxed them, they, they catch a little bit. We don't want them to catch. But that's easy enough to adjust them. There we go. And that just stops this from swinging around in the, in the waves. And then you get your two pins here for your bait, three pins here for your, your other side. And it's got the tether for it as well. And then, as another option, you can use a 110. And I don't have this one built. Another option is you can put a 110 on there. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to put a piece of <coughs> wood or something here. Set your 110 so that when it sets, it clamps on that piece of wood. Same idea. You still tether it here. And then when the muskrat hits it, it'll fall off. Uh, with the 110s, <coughs> you'll be dead already. But the... Uh, the one tends to have a better chance of slipping off. So I am going to eventually build one of those and uh, see how it goes. But I've been playing with it for a little while. So what I may do is I may put uh, a little piece of wood in there and then have another piece of wood on top so it's like a T. And then that way when the trap is set, it'll come down and it'll fit underneath the T and that'll stop the water. But I'm not there yet. So those are my muskrat traps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. And we'll see you next time.